Lee Majors, well known for his memorable roles on TV, represents qualities that have made him a symbol in the entertainment world. His charm, versatility, and ability to connect with audiences have made a lasting impression. Whether he's playing tough characters like Steve Austin in The Six Million Dollar Man or Heath Barkley in The Big Valley, his performances feel real and meaningful. Majors inspires actors and viewers from different generations. Share your favorite memory or experience with this beloved actor in the comments below. And stay tuned for more interesting, surprising, and touching facts about his life and career. Lee Majors made a significant impression on the film industry during his time and beyond. He became well known in the 1960s and 1970s, gaining fame through his roles in various TV shows and movies. He's remembered for playing tough and charming characters, especially in action and adventure stories. One of his most famous roles was as Colonel Steve Austin in the TV series The Six Million Dollar Man, which aired from the mid-1970s to the early 1980s. His portrayal of Austin, a former astronaut with bionic implants, fascinated viewers and helped make sci-fi action shows popular on TV. The success of the show influenced the future of TV, inspiring similar series for years. Besides TV, Majors also acted in movies, showing his talent across different types of films. His presence on screen and his ability to connect with audiences made many of his movies successful, establishing him as a respected actor. Beyond his individual performances, he influenced the entertainment world as a whole. He motivated aspiring actors with his dedication and his skill at playing various roles convincingly. Major's impact on the film industry remains strong as his work continues to be relevant and influential. In conclusion, Lee Majors made a lasting impression on the film industry through his memorable performances and work in Hollywood. His influence during his time and afterward shaped TV and inspired generations of actors. Majors' work as a talented and influential figure in entertainment will always be remembered by audiences worldwide. Lee Majors made a special appearance in Scrooge alongside several other notable figures. Before his acting career, he excelled as a star athlete at Middlesbrough High School, so much so that the school honored him by naming their football field after him and inducting him into their Sports Hall of Fame. In The Fall Guy, he portrayed Colt Seavers, a character whose adventures were accompanied by the catchy theme song The Unknown Stuntman. Interestingly, the song's lyrics include a nod to Major's former spouse, Farrah Fawcett. In one instance, he couldn't reprise his role in The Bionic Woman when it shifted networks due to contractual obligations with ABC. Since he was the main character, they didn't allow crossovers with NBC. Then he took on a different underwater challenge in Killer Fish. A couple of years earlier, he tackled sharks in two episodes of The Six Million Dollar Man. It seems those episodes were bundled into a feature film, hinting at the ongoing fascination with aquatic thrillers during that time. Also, he served as a judge in the 1981 Miss Universe pageant. It's interesting to see his involvement in diverse spheres beyond acting. Beginning his acting journey with a straightforward style, he often portrayed rugged characters in various TV shows and films. Starting in the 1960s, he gradually adjusted to the changing trends in the industry. As time went on, he improved his acting skills, adding depth and subtlety to his performances. In the 1970s, he became well known for roles that required a mix of action and emotion. He skillfully handled the shift towards more nuanced characters, bringing authenticity to his portrayals. He showed his versatility by taking on different types of roles, from heroes to anti-heroes, adapting smoothly to changing audience preferences. In the 1980s and beyond, he continued to develop as an actor, taking on new challenges and trying out different genres. Whether in big action movies or smaller, more personal dramas, he displayed a wide range that kept audiences engaged. He stayed relevant by keeping up with industry trends, always pushing himself to explore new aspects of his talent. Throughout his career, he showed resilience in the face of changing circumstances, consistently delivering performances that connected with viewers. His ability to adapt to new trends while staying true to his artistic vision shows his dedication and passion for acting. Barbara Stanwyck, a big fan of his acting, and praised him a lot. He got whipped three times while filming The Big Valley. Once in a Mexican jail, once in a penal camp, and another time by a religious group. In Killer Fish, he played Robert Lasky with Karen Black and Marissa Berenson. Karen Black won two Golden Globe Awards for her role in the movie. He got nominated for a Golden Globe too. In Killer Fish, he showed how good he is at acting, making his character interesting. People loved watching him and his co-stars together in the movie. This all shows how great his acting is. 
In November 2010, Lee Majors confirmed his decision not to attend the funeral of his ex-wife, Farrah Fawcett. He explained that he chose to preserve his personal memories of her and did not want to be a distraction during the solemn occasion. During the spring of 1977, as the character Colonel Steve Austin in The Six Million Dollar Man, he took a stand. Production on the show's final season was at stake as he refused to go to work until contract demands were met. Reports surfaced that producers were contemplating hiring a replacement with names like Gil Gerard, Bruce Jenner, and Harrison Ford in consideration. The situation eventually resolved, but it marked a notable chapter in the show's history. In his portrayal of Colonel Steve Austin, he brought authenticity to the character. He claimed to have done 90% of his own stunts, showcasing his dedication to the role and his commitment to delivering a genuine performance. His career is peppered with instances that shed light on his professional decisions and contributions, making him a figure whose actions speak louder than words. In the movie Killer Fish, he played Robert Lasky with Karen Black, who he had worked with before in The Big Valley. His first credited role in a film was as Blue and Will Penny, though he also appeared without credit in Straight Jacket. Rock Hudson played a big part in helping him connect with Hollywood producers, which got him started in the movie business. Ian e. Hudson got along well, and Hudson saw his talent and supported his career. With Hudson's help, he learned a lot about how Hollywood works. He went from growing up in a small town to becoming known in the entertainment world, showing how dedicated and strong-willed he was. Even though he faced challenges at first, he kept going and made a name for himself in the competitive entertainment industry. The partnerships he formed and the friendships he built were a big part of his success. In the end, what he achieved went beyond just what he did on screen, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. In June 1979, Lee Majors, Yvette Mimian, and Paul Williams embarked on filming Ladyfingers in the Philippines under the direction of Robert Vincent O'Neill. Mimio portrayed a brothel owner entangled with Majors, a treasure hunter. Despite efforts, the film's completion and release remain uncertain. Middlesbrough, Kentucky serves as Lee Majors' hometown. In his portrayal of Colonel Steve Austin in The Six Million Dollar Man, he engaged in an epic fight climax with Monty Markham, who portrayed The Seven Million Dollar Man. Markham's character, originally named Barney Miller, was altered to Barney Hiller due to the popularity of a television police comedy. In his iconic role as Colonel Steve Austin in The Six Million Dollar Man, he once experimented with a mustache near the series finale. However, the change didn't sit well with fans, leading to its quick abandonment. Interestingly, during this time, he subtly altered his appearance with a rhinoplasty and a new hairstyle concealing the procedure. After graduating from Eastern Kentucky College in 1962 with a degree in history and physical education, he was later honored with a doctorate from the same institution in 2006. He shares a son, Lee Majors Roman II, with Kathy Robinson, 